Hello and welcome back to the Residual Royalty Academy. If you're new here, this is the channel where I show you how to go from no royalties to at least a thousand dollars a month in passive income by publishing low and no content books. So in today's video, we're going to be going over something that nobody else is talking about on YouTube. And this is using AI to create either book covers or book interiors. Um, this is definitely going to become a lot bigger of a thing in the future. It's definitely not big at all now. But as these AI sort of image generators get better and more smart, they're going to be used everywhere. Like all the tweets you see on Twitter, they're going to be AI generated. All the Facebook posts you see, they're going to be AI generated because the computer is going to be able to learn better what people want to see and what people engage with. So don't be surprised when AI becomes a huge thing, um, even possibly for publishing as well in some aspects. So what we're going to go through is basically this brand new tool on Canva. I'm assuming you have to be a Canva Pro member, um, but it's basically called text to image. And to find it, you just got to click more and then press text to image. Very easy to do. And you can see this is the first thing I've generated. Um, and this is super high quality, especially compared to when I did try the Creative Fabrica AI image generator. This one seems a lot, lot better. Um, and you know, you could definitely use this for a book cover as long as the license is permitted. Um, in the next video, we'll actually go over the Canva AI license and see, kind of read it in detail and see how it would work and see if we could actually publish these images because at the moment it's quite an unknown uh, for me as well. So what I typed into this one was green sports car driving through an autumn road, exhaust swirling leaves. It didn't really pick that bit up on these two specifically. Um, but hyper detailed as well. And you can see this is not a photo, this is not a photograph. This is just an AI generated image, which looks absolutely crazy. Um, and as you can see, that could potentially make a book cover if you wanted to do, I don't know, um, a guest book for a car meet or something like that, right? You could have guest book, uh, car guest book here, and then this could be the front cover, which looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is just show you a few examples. So let's not use the prompts let's use our own ideas so let's say if we wanted to make a wedding guest book right let's go for wedding we're going to give it like as much detail as we can so we can get something really um, detailed and unique so let's say magical uh, magical english wedding in the countryside Photograph, maybe, or drawing. I will go photograph. Detailed photograph. Um, of wedding. Let's just see what it comes up with. Let's just press this. And we'll just have to wait probably 10 seconds just to see what it generates for us. So what we can do is delete this for now. This is just an 8.5 by 8.5 um, template on Canva. So this would obviously be a front cover. This would be a back cover and it's 40 pages long at the moment. Um, but you could really alter that. It's completely up to you. So as you can see here, we've got some AI generated people. Um, they don't look quite right, obviously, as you can see. So we're probably not going to use something like this. But the rest of the background is pretty accurate um, and the dress is pretty accurate. So let's just remove this because it looks pretty horrible. Um, let's start over again. Let's go with, let's go with, let's try again and do the car guest book thing. So let's say sports car driving down motorway, highway, probably it will understand better, America, at night, photograph. See what happens. We'll just really try on this. And after this one, what we're going to do is see if it's possible to create coloring pages that are just going to be black and white outlines um, that people could draw. And we can actually use these as coloring pages. So let's just see if this one works first and then we'll go on to that one next. So we're just waiting for this sports car driving down a highway at night with a uh, based on a photograph. Okay, so that's quite cool. It's not too detailed. It's got the road markings as well. It's got the barrier at the side. It's got other cars going the other way, a little sunset. It's not bad, honestly. Oh, oh wow, here's the next one. That's pretty cool. So although it's not too detailed, it's pretty amazing. You got a little city in the background. 
Um, and yeah, that's pretty awesome, honestly. So let's go forward. Let's put this one maybe on the back cover so you guys can compare which one you like the best. Maybe drop a comment below. Tell me which one you think is better. But they're pretty cool. It's, a, it's definitely a unique style. Um, but yeah, I think you could honestly make a pretty cool book cover, especially out of this back one. So if we did this, we add a heading. Let's say car meet guest book. Um, let's make it white so it's going to be on the back black background. Change the font. Maybe try this one or this one. Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's delete this one for now. Let's put this on the front cover. Grab this again. Then we could have maybe, I don't know, underneath we could say it's going to be 120 pages. Um, perfect for car lovers. All right. Put that down there, make this really small. So everyone who's come to the car meet can write that down. And that looks pretty cool. You could maybe put your author name over here. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, maybe you can find a better image somewhere else, but for AI to create that, I think it's pretty amazing. So let's go back onto here and let's start again. Let's try and do some coloring pages. So let's do dinosaur coloring page, black and white outline. I've never tried this before, but let's just see what happens. So let's make another page and let's see what it comes up with now. Oh wow, that's honestly really, really cool. Like that literally could be drawn by somebody and you'd have to pay them money to make that. So that's honestly insane. I mean, it looks so good. It almost looks like somebody has drawn it. I'd almost be a bit surprised if this was AI, but it kind of has to be AI if Canvas giving it to us. So that's pretty insane and that would be a perfect coloring page and I would guess if you put in a different slightly different prompt or just even do it again it's going to give you a different output every time so this one doesn't really work um, that one is not really an outline but this one looks honestly amazing so there's no way to seemingly like approve or like press like so it kind of the algorithm learns what we like but that's amazing um, I'm honestly really impressed by that let's try let's just hit it again see if it gives us a different image or if it doesn't we can just type in something slightly different so let's say you'd made a dinosaur coloring book you just needed a couple more pages at the end you didn't want to pay your designer a bit more money there you go bank you just got a really cool coloring page that i would assume nobody else would get i assume it was totally unique every time um but I'd like i say but like i said before that's something we're gonna have to look into there you go there's another one that's pretty cool um yeah that's just totally amazing so let's do Another page. So as you can see, we type in the same thing and it actually can give you different um, AI generated images each time. So let's do outline. Let's just do detailed outline. That should change it a little bit. And then we can put the next ones on here. Obviously, if you're making the book, you're not gonna put them like this on the front and back cover. I'm just showing you for example purposes um, how it kind of works. So I'm pretty impressed by that book cover. I'm very impressed by this coloring page. This one is okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd totally be happy to put that in a book so long as the license was all good. So let's just wait for these two. Um, so as you can see, we've got the first one here. I'm not sure what is put in that bottom right corner. So we probably wouldn't use that one. It looks a little bit messed up. However, this one is pretty cool. I don't know what kind of dinosaur it is. I'm no expert. I mean, personally, I don't actually believe dinosaurs are real, if we're being honest. I think the architects or archaeologists, sorry, I think they were planted by the archaeologists to sort of fool us. So call me crazy, but I'm sure there's some people watching this who are groomed. Maybe comment below. Let me know what you think about the dinosaurs. Were they real? Were they fake? Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool one. Um, I'm not sure if it's a real dinosaur, but the background is amazing. You've got the trees, the mountains, the clouds, the plants. That's totally amazing. So let's just try one last one. And that is going to be the end of the video after this one. So let's do dinosaur coloring page, black and white, detailed outline um, by the uh, by the river. Okay, let's see if they can do a river for us as well. I'll sit here and I'll sip my coffee while we wait. <laughs> okay, so we have the first one here generated. 
It's pretty funny. I mean, the dinosaur's a weird shape. He's been going to the gym and he's been smashing this part, but he's not betraying his neck at all. So that's pretty funny. Um, you could probably use it in your in your um, in your book for sure. Um, as you can see, though, it does seem to add these lines at the top and bottom. So you could just edit those out very easily just by doing this, for example, if you didn't want them, or if you wanted to keep it square, you could just leave them in perfectly fine as well, as long as you select like, bleed when you upload your book. And the last one that we're going to see in this video is this guy with, okay, I think he has only got four legs and two arms. So that's, I don't know, is that how many he's supposed to have? Um, this one was by the river. This one, is he just in a puddle or is he stood on a lily pad? I don't know, but yeah, it's definitely an interesting thing. In the next video, I'm also going to show you briefly um, when we look at the license, I'm going to also show you the Creative Fabrica AI because it, it definitely wasn't as good. Um, and we could also look at other AIs such as that Dali one, that's the super famous one. Um, that could be really good as well. Uh, and we're also going to look at the license, like I said. So definitely something very interesting. If you needed a couple of coloring pages, just check the Canva license and it may actually work. So definitely something for the future and something to look into. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please drop the dinosaur emoji below. That's been the main focus of the video. So drop the dinosaur emoji. Let me know if you think the dinosaurs are real or fake. And uh, yeah, just thank you for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.